Hi all and welcome to Quilt Tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to easily add custom fonts to your WordPress website. Picking which fonts to use for your site can be tough. If you're not sure how to go about it, there are both free and licensed font resources on the web where you can find just what you're looking for. Google Fonts, Envato, Fonts.com and Fontspace are just some among the many. During website creation, people usually pick and combine two different fonts, one for headings, the other for body copy. Picking more than two fonts is not recommended unless you're an experienced designer, as it can make your page look messy and slow down your page loading time. In case you're not sure which fonts to use together, Font Pair can help you make a decision and find the perfect combination for you. There, you can browse through different font pair suggestions and you can instantly see the names of the fonts in question, as well as the way the two will look like when arranged together. You can also have the option of downloading the font pair on the spot. This site lets you search font pairs by certain criteria, such as featured pairs, serif sans serif, display sans serif, and so on. Another site that can assist you in your font pair selection is FontJoy. There is a Generate button you can click to generate fonts and you can determine how closely they are related. Also, in case you've already picked one font, you can generate another and see how it matches with what you've selected. The only thing you have to do is click on the lock icon next to the font you want so that the font generator will know which one to preserve and which one to generate. Now let me show you how to use custom fonts with quote interactive themes. If you're using or plan to use one of our themes, then you should know that they come with already integrated Google Fonts. So if you want to use any Google Font from Google's huge font library, you don't have to worry, you'll be set. You can find the font settings for our themes when you access the general options for that theme and go to the Fonts option. As you can see, the options include all kinds of possibilities, from font color to line height. So, there's a lot you can achieve without needing to introduce a new plugin. However, if you'd like some specialized options, or if you're using a theme that doesn't include all these settings, then you can consider adding a plugin to help you. I'm going to show you what the steps look like using two different plugins. The first is Google Fonts Typography. This plugin comes with already integrated Google Fonts, so you don't have to install any. You just have to choose the ones that you wish to use. After you've installed and activated the Google Fonts Typography plugin, you can access its options by going to Appearance, Customize, Google Fonts. There are two different groups of settings that you can use, Basic and Advanced. In Basic settings, you have three different options available. Base Typography, Headings Typography, and Buttons and Inputs Typography. The base typography option allows you to choose and configure the font of your body text. The headings typography option lets you pick the font for all your headings, while the buttons and inputs typography lets you select a typeface for your input fields and buttons. Then we have the advanced settings for more extensive options. These will let you select a separate font for every heading, such as fonts for site title and description, post and page title, and so on. Also, you will be able to adjust some fonts individually by exploring the options available here. I'd like to mention that there is also a pro version of this plugin. It includes a few other options, like customizing font size, color, and line height. Also, you can optimize your website performance with it by only loading the font weights you plan to use. Depending on your needs, there are all kinds of handy options you'd have available with the pro version. Now, I mentioned we'd be looking at two different plugins for adding custom fonts. So let's take a look at the second one now. That's the Easy Google Fonts plugin. When you install and activate it, head over to Appearance, Customize, then Typography and Default Typography. This plugin allows you to change fonts for paragraphs and headings. You can open them to access the settings and then pick different options for your font from the Style, Appearance and Positioning tabs. For example, using the options in the Styles tab, you can transform your text to uppercase, and then change its font size under the Appearance tab. 
you can mix and match to get whatever effect you want for your paragraph and headings fonts. However, you should know that the Easy Google Fonts plugin doesn't include options for customizing fonts in other website sections, such as your footer and sidebar. However, you still get to play around with additional features like font weight and style, text decoration and so on. Also, you can insert custom parts of text for which you want to change the font. For example, if you wish to change the typography for your block quotes and links. You can do this by inserting custom fields for these categories. Let me show you how. Go to Settings, Google Fonts. Say you want the same font for both block quotes and links. Then you need to create a font control. You do this by entering a name here in the Control Name field. Say, My First Control. And then just click the Create Font Control button. Then, since we're setting the same font for block quotes and links, we need to put the HTML tags for both links and block quotes in the same font control. The HTML tags are block quote for block quotes and A for links. When you're done, click on Save Font Control. By creating this new font control, you will get additional settings. So, when you go to Appearance, Customize, Typography, you will see another tab called Theme Typography. This is where you will be able to find all the settings for the tags you've chosen. The settings that you'll get will be the same as the ones for the default font controls. So you can tweak them until you're happy with the end result. Ok, now I'd like to move on and show you how to add custom WordPress fonts without a plugin. There are a couple of ways to add custom WordPress fonts manually. You do need some basic knowledge of CSS in order to do it, but don't worry, I'm going to take you through the steps slowly so you can follow along. I'll show you two different methods for adding custom WordPress fonts manually. Once you've seen them, you can pick which one you prefer. For the first method, go to the Google Fonts website, that's fonts.google.com, from here you can either use the filters to help you browse or search by name to find the font that fits with what you have in mind. When you've decided on which font you want, click on it and then go to select this style. This will provide you all the information you need for embedding the font into your web page. Now, just copy all the text in this link field and then paste that code into your header PHP file. Now, this isn't as scary as it may sound, we'll take it step by step. Go to Appearance, Theme Editor. You'll get this heads up pop up recommending you install a child theme before editing your files. We also suggest you do so. Otherwise, once you update your theme, the changes you make in your files might be reverted. Luckily, all our themes come with child themes already integrated, so you just need to activate them. But for the sake of this demonstration, we'll just click I understand. Then find the header PHP file in this list on the right and click on it once. When it opens, paste the code you copied from the Google Fonts site right below the head tag. Then update the file. Now that we have our new font on the site, we need to define which elements we want it to be applied to. So next, we need to find the style CSS file. Stay where you are under Appearance Theme Editor and find the file called style.css in the list on the right. For example, if you want to use the new font for H1 headings, then you should insert this code from our article into the style.css file. Just replace the part with your font name goes here with the actual font name. For me, that's IndieFlower. Now, if you'd prefer not to use the style.css file directly, there's an alternative for defining where the font will appear. Go to Customize, then Additional CSS. You can paste your code in this field below. Using it instead of the style.css file will let you monitor all the changes on the spot. Using these steps, you can add a new font to any section of your site, you just need to know the CSS selector for the element whose font you want to change. Now, let's take a look at the second method for manually adding custom fonts to your site. 
This is a very straightforward approach and it includes using the CSS3 at font face rule. It allows you to use any font you want on your web page. So first you need to find and download the font you want to use in a web file format. If you don't have the appropriate format then you can simply convert it using Font Squirrel's web font generator. Then when you're set you need to upload your font files to your hosting server. I'm going to do that using FTP since it lets me drag and drop, but you can also use the file manager on cPanel if you prefer. Now you can upload the font files to your child themes directory, if you have one, or in a new folder within the theme itself. Up to you. After you upload the font, you need to load it in your theme CSS style sheet. To do that, go to Appearance, then Theme Editor. Once there, find your style CSS file and click on it once to open. Now we need to insert the CSS code. I'm going to use the add font face example from our article so you know where to find the code to copy on your end. When you go to paste the code, make sure to specify the font's actual name instead of the placeholder. Then add its location on your server. For this, you can just copy the path from the FTP client and paste it over the dummy link. Finally, you need to set the font weight. I prepped my code, so I'll just paste it in now. When you've finished all that, you can use your new font anywhere on your site through simple CSS. That's done by adding a bit of code with a CSS selector. You can do that either in the style CSS file, by adding code right below the block with the add font face rule we just had, or by going to additional CSS where you can track the change as it's made, and update file. Because we'll be able to see the change immediately, I'm going to show you the second of the two by going to Appearance, then Customize. Now open additional CSS. I'm going to show you how our new font looks like on headings with the H2 tag, like this one here. As I mentioned earlier, you just need to know which CSS selector you need to add it properly. I'll just use this example code to show you how it works. When you paste it, make sure to set the information that's relevant to you. Let me change mine. And voila! I have an awesome new heading. And that is how you add custom WordPress fonts to your site. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that customizing your site's typography will now be a breeze.